Today we're actually going to be working with something that you all have requested a lot and that is anodized parts. So if you guys are unfamiliar with anodize, it's actually a process that's done to a lot of parts. It's different from painting because it's actually bonded to the surface. This is used in a ton of different applications. Now this part I have here is actually a part of a cup, believe it or not, that I found that has some anodize on it, but glasses, electronics, even this window seal that you can see we've actually removed anodized off of before, all have this process on it. And what a lot of people struggle with is removing it and also prepping for it. And what I'm hoping we can do today is actually remove and prep at the exact same time. Now the way that I think we can do this is using a polishing abrasive. It may take a little longer, but we can probably erode the surface and bring it back to a polished finish. That way it can be re-anodized. If that does not work, we can always move into an aggressive media, something like an aluminum oxide to strip this, and then we can polish it again in a glass bead to bring it back to that uniform finish. Now, uniform finishes are very important when it comes to anodizing because, again, with this being a process that is actually formed from the surface, any of those variations will show up in the final product. But with that being said, let's see what these things can do. All right, guys, we're gonna be using the VH1000. This thing is an absolute workhorse. And again, I've got glass beading here right now. We are gonna be blasting close to 100 PSI, that way it will remove all of this anodize. And why is my foot pedal up top? All right, now that the foot pedal's where it's supposed to be, we're gonna actually go ahead and get blasting. Got the tape on here and the foot pedal in the right spot. Go ahead and begin the blasting. I can get the hose up, here we go. All right, again, this is glass peep. We're gonna be blasting on 100 PSI, just to see what this thing can really do. That's crazy. That was just seconds. You can probably see it peeling it away on video. Also guys, one of the things that's odd to me about the vapor honing process. Now, this tape that's on here is just standard painter's tape and it is not harming the tape, yet it's removing anodize. I've always found that crazy. So in literally a minute, I think that's around how long this took, we have taken this part, removed the anodize, and what we're left with is a surface that is perfectly suitable to be re-anodized. If you guys are looking to work with parts that are anodized that need to be re-anodized, this is the absolute best way to go about it. You guys can see how beautiful that surface is. And you saw when we were actually videoing the, the process just how quickly we were able to remove the anodize. And again, that was with a glass bead. If you guys aren't familiar, I'll put a picture of a glass bead on the screen somewhere. It's a circular abrasive. It's not made to actually cut. By comparison, we'll put aluminum oxide on the screen. You can see just how more jagged those edges are. So it's very impressive that glass bead is able to do that. And again, it is due to that glass bead that you are left with such a shine. You guys can see the raw aluminum on the inside versus this beautiful finish that's left on the outside. To me, it's crazy, especially the fact that we were able to tape this part off with painter's tape and it doesn't destroy the tape, yet it removes the anodize so quickly. That's what always blows my mind. If you guys have any questions regarding working with anodized parts, how to prep for it, how to remove it in better ways, or actually if you want to send in your parts, remember we have the free application testing program. So if you have parts that you would like us to blast, we can do that for you guys for free. You can always call us at 828-202-5563 with any questions. Check out our YouTube channel. Go through all the videos. We post educational content every day on a range of topics, not only for vapor honing, but sandblasting, hydroblasting alike. Again, if you guys have any questions or if you would actually like to purchase some of this equipment, you can call us at 828-202-5563. We would love to help you guys get set up and running with this. It is truly phenomenal. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day. Peace.